It's Estrella with a reading for the collective. I pulled a few cards from the universe has your pack and true healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers, which I think is really interesting because a lot of people have in the collective have um, slayed some dragons and you might be feeling a little tired or maybe disappointed in yourself for not being as bright eyed and bushy tailed as you um, would like to be. You might feel like a little exhausted. Um, so I thought that was really great confirmation from the universe that, you know, that's that's totally normal. And um, also two of the cards that were on the bottom of the deck were I honor how I want to feel. And then right underneath that was the universe works fast when I'm having fun. So feel your feelings and you will get back to back to this place. So it's like, sounds like an oxymoron, but you know it isn't. It's like these feelings are totally natural, um, but then you do want to, you know, raise your vibration as much as you can. Okay. Um, I, have, I had this inclination to ask questions about this karmic energies because we know that they are defeated, defeated. A lot of the lies have been exposed. Um, they're, they're, uh, you know, forced, forced to back up. I have a couple of questions because I feel like there might be some um, that are still in your, your space. And then there's the bully kind of doppelganger that's your own karmic. And then there's the DM's karmic. So it's kind of a lot. So let me ask, I'll do them each individually. Okay, so let's first ask about the um, DM's karmic um what are they up to what do they what do they know um what are they planning what are they feeling about the situation what are they planning what do they know what are they intending please do play dm's karmic what's going on here wow okay the cards are upside down so, so we've got nine of coins. Um, I'm going to keep it upright. I feel like that's your independence. And then we've got challenge position, high priestess, secrets. Um, you're this independent person. I, because it was reversed, even though I had the deck upside down, I'm going to say... That's because they don't like the fact that you're independent and that you're a high priestess and that, I mean, that's how I'm reading it. They didn't realize who they were messing with. Um, and that you're okay. You're okay independently. That was like one of the things they were trying to take from you. So subconsciously, Page of Cups, Six of Cups, King of Swords. I think they feel like the Divine Masculine is trying to raise up to his own expectations after sort of waking up um, and do the right thing and come towards you. I feel like this wanted to go back in a deck, though, um, Six of Cups, and page of cups just sending a message of love um i feel like this is the karmic feeling like they the divine masculine is thinking that the only way that their life is going to balance out again is if they do the, the right thing so in the recent past we've got regret loss grief I think that's been being exposed. 
Uh, what are they planning? Yep, see, this is why I wanted to do the reading. Knight of Swords. Some sort of quick movement. We'll find out what that is. Some kind of quick movement. Wow, Knight of Wands. Some sort of fast action here and then chariot to get control. So they are planning on something. This is what I'm the most interested in. In the near future, in the near future, I've got nine of cups, knight of cups, I mean, and six of wands. So someone makes another gesture. We've got all one, two, three of the knights out here. Someone's going to make a romantic gesture or, or act like they're very um, sweet and loving, romantic kind of a person. Um, and they're going to do this publicly. Something like that. Someone's gonna, someone is going to do that. Or someone might make a romantic offer, kind of like a seductive energy. Okay, and then what they're looking at is, wow, um, okay, I'm going to go ahead and take it. We've got this knight that came out. This is the knight of coins. So really, really committing. This is what they're, the lens they're looking through um, to this end of a cycle or being on top of the world. Um, and then we've got the devil. This is what they're look the the way that they're looking. So it's like they are obsessed with either the commitment of the this could be the divine masculine. This could be sort of like deciding to never let go of this issue. N never let bygones be bygones. Um, this knight of coins, you know, they're the slowest in the deck. They, when they commit to something, they're, they're going to do it no matter what. And you can see this knight of coins has a long way to go. So this karmic energy, I mean, and this is like obsession here. So... And, you know, this could be finishing a cycle, but this could be, okay, this is done now the way that it is, but, you know, now I'm going to commit to getting the cycle to work in my favor or to be successful, to be at the, the, the pinnacle of success, committing to winning but with really toxic uh, ideas. So we've got, this is all action, action, night, 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 a night, a night, a night, and then chariot. Wow, page of swords. So in their environment, they're either appearing like uh, someone who's spying and gossiping, or they've got people watching them. And then in Hopes and Fears, we've got Seven of Swords. So there's going to be a lot of lying and deceit and trickery going on here. And that's what they're afraid of. They're afraid of getting caught. They're hoping that their plans work. Even if they're feeling a little beat up at the moment, they're, they're, this is not a retreat. This is having been exposed, but not a retreat. We've got this independent woman here who's a high priestess. So it's almost like they can see this high priestess can see all of these actions. So I don't know what, if this karmic knows that is, I'm 
then we've got em Empress as the outcome. All right. And then bottom of the deck, we've got Three of Swords. So this person is going through a lot of heartbreak right now after trying to, to replace you and destroy you. Um, I've got all the sort of uh, heavier cards coming out on purpose. Points clarification. Wow, these are upside down. These are upside down as well. Okay, we've got what came out. Whoa, this just flew out too. Okay, five of pentacles. So this is clarifying the nine of coins, eight of cups, four of pentacles. Okay. So getting power, or someone has power. Um, someone walking away from power and um, having material trouble. So, someone, I mean, yeah, in the order. So this could be the DM walking away to be independent, to move towards a high priestess. Or so they want power, or it could be jealousy. Even though a, a couple things. One is just that you've you've managed to be this independent person, in spite of the fact that they tried to take everything from you, and someone walked away, that you walked away, um, and that it left them in the five of pentacles um i think yeah, i think it's all of that it's it's all coins so it's about all about like money and power that's the issue for them um lord of material trouble lord of abandoned success lord of earthly power I'll get I'll get more clar clarification. All right, so high priestess. High priestess. The problem is the high priestess because yeah, the emperor wants to move towards this high priestess. Got some Aries energy. <sighs> Aries energy. What else do we have out here? Taurus. Aries. Pisces. Virgo. So far, we've, there's other other signs, of course, always in these other cards as well. Okay, so this King of Swords and Page of Cups. The Chariot. It's getting control. This King of Swords, this is like this masculine realizing that the, the balance to be able to hold on to these reins, they need to follow their heart and they want to send a message to the divine feminine. It's like waking up to the situation, doing the right thing. So that is in the subconscious position. Five of cups. Yeah, it's sort of like, this is clarifying in the recent past, um, being the hanged man here, um, having to see things from another perspective, um, 
you know, nine of cups, material happiness. They were trying to go for things materially, but like everything they did to achieve it came out. Um, there was some conversations. This is truth conversations that just got them stuck here. Pisces energy, Pisces again, Jupiter, I see Jupiter in these cards there, Jupiter expansion, so we got some Sagittarius here. Um, they appear to be a fool, that's how I look at that. It's like everything they did to try to destroy you and just so they could have a nine of cups. Um, their intentions, please. Intentions, chariot, nine of wands, ace of cups. To get control of the self-love. I mean, there's some gang stalker energy here too with all of this movement because the chariot could be like cars trying to get like this could be trying to get multiple people um, to kind of bully and attack or move in quick get control of the self-love I'll get more clarification Knight of Cups, Six of Wands. This could be schmooze, schmoozing. Yeah, I feel like this is like schmoozing. Libra energy. To appear successful. Knight of Coins, Devil. The World. Six of Wands. Yeah, it's like all this person cares about is... It's very toxic, obsessed with winning, obsessed with appearing successful. That's, that's, this, this setback has, uh, invigorated this person to figure out a way to win. So, they had a big failure. Uh, they, they don't give up. Here we go. Page of Swords. Princess of Cups. I think that they're watching for an offer or an apology. Um, or they could be very apologetic to the people around them. Appearing like they're sorry. Seven of Swords. We got Seven of Swords, clarifying Seven of Swords, so they're definitely afraid of... There could be more lies that haven't come out yet, in addition to whatever it is that they're planning here, because they're having a lot of problems. They've been ashamed. They're, they've been shamed. Um, there's still a lie happening, or something they're planning, and... I'm going to really get to the bottom of this, what their intentions are with all these knights here. Knight, knight, chariot, knight, knight. This is the best they can do position. This is how they're seeing everything. So they're going to commit to being, getting there, getting, getting back into the public's good graces the community's good graces. That's their sole intention. Um, okay. Um, this outcome. We've got devil and judgment. This really feels like having to you 
you you are the empress here that can't be taken away from you and this is like it's on um, this is called the last judgment in this deck and i really feel like that i mean this is i i feel like this is having to um pay for pay karmically and it's like any sort of doppelganger mask is off it's like being exposed and it's the final judgment it's i mean this is this is not learning a lesson here so whatever they're doing now or have done they are still going to have to it's gonna be this is intense this is worse this is worse than any shame that they're going through now the fact that they're fully embracing this devilish energy uh in order to win i mean this is like doubling down this is completely like a soul that has just been completely just consumed by this devilish energy and so con so intent on winning um, over this high priestess who the emperor is heading towards that um, it's like the empress I'm going to say it's not versus the devil, but because the devil is under judgment here, that's the outcome. You are this, um, you'll be this energy because that's what you're working towards. In the Empress, the universe works fast when I'm having fun. Versus this devil who's under judgment. And we've got two of wands making plans. So that's what this karmic energy is up to. Let's get some details. They could be losing how I mean the more uh, direct way to read it is this is Lord of Material Troubles we've got five of Pentacles someone walking away having to be independent they could be losing a house they could be having to move um, this could be them in their house this could be them thinking of you in your house can I have one more for yeah they're concerned about their house they're in despair over their house someone could be moving journey they're having a, a real hard time um with their finances and where they're living um their power everything is threatened their money their home their relationships um it could be a loss of power, wanting this power, and you're the one, you're, you, you're almost an example in a strange way because you've had so many things taken from you, and this person, they tried to do this to you, and they're not handling even a sliver of what they did to you on day one, day two, very well at all. This is like, just think when these things were happening to you, you didn't go in this direction. You, you dug deep and you, you had patience. 
you went within for answers. This person can't do that. All they can think about is the power and money and winning. Official person. They don't want you to get this like title and status. It's all about status. This false person. Okay, so. Interesting. So we've got false person adjudication clarifying the chariot, king of swords, page of cups. So if this masculine does the right, quote unquote, right thing and apologizes or sends this message, um, gets control, does the right thing. King of swords, too, is just like a lot of ways a justice card, but it's like a person, a person of justice. This could be a... This could be someone, an official person of the law, like a detective or someone. It's interesting that this is in the subconscious. It's for something that they've done, trying to get control. People looking at you and your innocence. They could have gang stock they could have done some things that haven't come out yet and i mean they they're being shamed for one thing but then there's like something else they have that people don't know yet um but it's interesting that this judgment or they've already been shamed well why are they still worried here in their subconscious about adjudication is almost like the kipper karma card so they're worried about karma subconsciously but they're not they're not um or something that's unfolding here for something they've done some lies that they're not telling the truth um something else here i'm, I'm not sure exactly what i'm picking up on but there's like an, an additional layer um a person, something else they've done. Um, yeah, okay, I'm not going to repeat myself. So in the recent past, let's see how this Nine of Cups, like they were just after whatever they could get out of a situation, and that's why they're being shamed. But they're continuing to do the exact same thing. Mature man. Okay, so the mature man, that's the divine masculine who should be mature, the mature man. It's like getting control of this self-love, this action. This They're thinking that this is what the masculine is going to do. I'm trying to get control of it. I'll get more clarification. Courtship, child. That is the near future. Nine of Cups, Six of Wands, Peace Restored. This could be trying to, if there's a child involved, trying to appeal to the community or the DM. Um, that the family should stay together because of this child. This could be a new agreement. Having to do with like a new beginning, a new beginning. Um, This could be a project. It's like the appearance of everything being okay here. This is weird. This is weird and this is weird and this is weird. The intention, what they're, what they're trying to. Yeah, this is like finding new ways of doing the same thing again, basically. Um, teaming up with someone, trying to get 
more money, someone to collaborate with. Collaboration. Collaboration. This is e either with a, the divine masculine again or a new partner in order to appear successful. This is like covering up things. It's like creating another illusion. Wealthy man. This is clarifying Princess of Cups and Page of St Swords. This could be someone else that is not... That people are looking at and gossiping about. Some sort of change. This could be... This could be inside their circle. This, this could be a friend or someone that is affected by this circumstance that people are looking at now. There could be a, a wealthy man that this karmic energy connected to that is now watching this karmic energy. Or this could be something that the karmic did that is now causing a change in their circumstances that people are gossiping about. Seven of Swords. Wow, main male. There's a lot of people involved here. This could be... Um, so this has to do with a lie with this main male. This could be someone that, that this karmic is planning with or did something with. Thief. That's the outcome. That's for devil and judgment. So that's thieving. Uh, trying to be someone they're not. Trying to take your energy. Trying to take ideas. Um, being a vampire kind of energy or a um, narcissist or um, yeah, taking people's energy. Um, this is it all coming out. So yeah, this is all about them trying to, this is about them trying to plan a way out of the situation. They're broken hearted and they're, but they're planning. They are planning. Let's get some more details about what these plans are. So just this high priestess. Fortune, constancy. Yeah, I think this is them worried that you're going to get, um, you're going to get your birthright the status, you're going to get the things, you're going to have the fortune, but also that, like, you are going to consistently be this adversary. There isn't a way for them to defeat you the way that they thought. What's going on? False person, adjudication, <sighs> reunion, King of Swords, Page of Cups. So I, I was saying it was like the Divine Masculine coming in to apologize. Um, getting control of the situation, realizing that that it's a balancing, balancing themselves includes this reunion. That's, it's like waking up and realizing that they had everything with you. There's something about that though that where they're feeling judged because of the divine masculine, or it's almost like karma. It's like something coming to the surface here because, because of the divine masculine wanting to do the right thing and come back towards you. This is whether or not you want them back or not. Um, this is all in the subconscious. They feel they're being judged. That's so, it's an interesting connection. I'm not piecing it together yet. I'm going to get some more clarifications. What is this here? This mature man. Wow. We got thief. Yeah, it's about trying to stop this self-love. This mature man. This masculine. This chariot. This is going to, this is do anything, do anything and move quick to stop this new beginning. 
which is weird because it's here, but it's also in the subconscious. I mean, if this, this karmic, they, they're aware that they're not being themselves. So why is it in the subconscious? I have to get back to that. What's going on here? Child courtship? Child courtship. Child courtship. This is the... What? Surprise. Someone... This could be a masculine... This could be another masculine. This could be the masculine. This could be them. This is weird. A surprise with a masculine energy. Child courtship. This could be you with a new soulmate. I have to get more into that. What the this devil knight of pentacles just committing, committing to the most toxic of ideas and feelings here. What are they planning? Yeah. Faithfulness. It's like faithfulness to the devil. That's yeah, that's like consistent knight of pentacles never letting go of this idea of victory. What is this plan? We know it's about partnering up. It's very, very toxic. It's obsessed with this faith, faithfulness. Faithfulness, victory. This could be wanting the faithfulness of the divine masculine at all costs. Maybe feeling like if, if this DM comes back to you, they are going to be seen as this top false person, which is weird because they've already been exposed in my, in my mind, but they're going to get exposed here. So maybe that's why they're still fighting for the DM. They're not wanting to let go. Which is weird here. What is this? Okay, what's going on here? We've got two pages. Messages, spying, something about a wealthy man. People looking into the situation. Yeah, people are talking. People are talking in their, in their group. This feels like email messages or spying or internet. It's like, imagine that being a laptop or an iPhone. Um, people are all getting the inside scoop. That's what's happening. Um, seven of Swords, main male. Maybe this karmic energy was working with one of the Divine Masculine's friend. Yeah, there's more lies. Falseness, main male. This is worried about getting caught. Something to do with this main male. I don't know. Thief. Thief. Messenger service. Definitely, I feel like this is things coming out. Um, this could be someone helping the Divine Feminine. This could be um, who this person is in service of. <laughs> That's more metaphorical. Oh, wow. Underneath the deck, death. It's, it's a death. It's a death journey. Begging. Begging the universe for help. Um, I 
let's really understand, let's know what, what they are up to so that we can be ready. Okay, so the problem is this fortune, right? They feel like they're 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 wasting time or they wasted time with this high priestess. They feel like time is of the essence because this emperor is heading towards this high priestess. That it's like written in the stars for you. And you are the high priestess that that what is this? Adjudication, false person, right? If the if the divine masculine comes towards you, and get they get ghosted, somehow it exposes all of their who they are. That's that's what the cards have, are saying on every level, on every layer here. This is the the DM moving towards you. Somehow that exposes them. I guess if it becomes public enough, because their inner circles all know what's going on, but that is what's driving them. Stopping, it's like everything gets exposed. Ghosted. Them, the Divine Masculine, a reunion ruins them. It's, it, it's hard to like wrap the brain around because, you know, the Divine Feminine doesn't think this way. So it's like, what it, you know, this person has their own life. It, whatever other people do shouldn't affect the way that this person is seen. But it could be something else too. There's, I feel like there's something else here. Divine Masculine has a reunion with the Divine Feminine. The karmic gets ghosted. They're under judgment right now. It's like an energetic courthouse. They are getting ghosted because of justice, because of their toxic ways. I don't know why that's in the subconscious. Yeah, this is the recent past. This is everything that got exposed. This is everything that they did to try to destroy you that all came out because they were jealous. What are they planning here? Mature man just wanted to come out. Okay, romantic affair. Right, Ace of Cups. This love, this new beginning, mature man, new beginning. They're thinking the masculine is moving towards a new beginning, doing it quickly. Always partying, caught a case. Always partying, caught a case. it off carless I don't know these are really weird cards I'll move I'll come back near future child services child 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 services a stalemate nine of cups six of wands trying to create some sort of a stalemate around a child are looking through.
okay. This feels like trying to trap someone. This feels like trying to trap someone, keep them, force their way, make someone unable to move, like, keep someone trapped. They're obsessed. That's what this devil is. Obsession. Obsession. Lovers. Lovers. Obsessed. Lovers. Victory. Devil. Forcing their way in. This could be like making it impossible to leave. Anything to succeed. This is like not wanting to let the divine masculine go. That's what I feel like. You, it's like demanding faithfulness. I'm just, is this someone else? Demanding faithfulness with jail. Is this... that word for uh... <sighs> like extortion not extortion it's like when you threaten someone to tell their information uh, It's not extortion, there's another word. I can't think of it right now, but I think you get what I'm saying. If you if you know the word, please put it in the comments. Okay, uh, Page of Swords. Yeah, this is, people are talking about them like this. Wolf in sheep's clothing. That's why it's so weird that they're, they're doubling down on their actions here. Because they've, it's, everything came out, they've been shamed. They're going through this death, this ending. They're trying to figure out a pathway out. They feel like they're wasting time um, because of who you are. And, but they're, but they're, they refuse. Refuse to let go. Refuse to stop. This could be them trying to Make accusations, always partying, nine of swords. This could be them deciding to have an affair. What thief though? Trying to, I don't know, to come back to that. What is, what is going on with the seven of swords? Stalker. That's what I was thinking that there's still a lie that they're afraid of the Seven of Swords, this lie. There's something that they are not either this is something that they don't realize people know about them. People know that they're that they attacked you, and they'll do anything for clout because they were jealous. That's what people know. There's another layer of this stalking, though, that they're either doing now, or that they are planning, or have done. It has to do with this main male. Something else that they're doing or have done that, that they're worried is going to come out, which it will. So far, I don't see them. Um, yeah, this is someone's moving. Moving, I think that's people moving away from them. Anyone that's still caught up that might be confused by, yeah, something's gonna, something's, oh, wow, look at that. Something's going to come out with what they've done to you. Wow. And then here we have people. Are, yeah, you're going to come out as this empress here. 
they were all in their ego. That's that devilish energy. Things that they were trying to do um, all up in your business. Clout chasing and um, drama starting. Drama starting. It's all going to come out more because of this love triangle. Because they were jealous of your love. this is the energy that they're in this is like an act of acting desperately there's another layer of cards that I want to get um, to really understand some of these like what they're intending here in this near future I want to clarify this and I want to still clarify this intentions here thief Carlos dusted off new harmony either a new beginning okay they're concerned with somebody's new harmony either theirs the masculines the, either theirs or the masculine so it's like creating a facade let's see empty vessel it's their happiness Creating new circumstances to make themselves look better. Yeah, their reputation. Union. So it's like teaming up with someone else. Quickly getting out there and... It's fire, fire, knight of wands, charming fun, energetic, this is like going out at night or quickly appearing like everything's fine, um, teaming up, a new union, this could be a new partner, if their person, if, but they don't want to let this masculine go, what's going on with this child services? Heart chakra. Quiet. Going within. Peace restored. Six of Wands. I need more help with this one. Eleven, eleven. Those are all very positive cards. And then we've got child services, a surprise, Lord surprise, child courtship. Nine. This could be some masculines heading towards a divine feminine. Um. Some someone having an epiphany, a spiritual epiphany, blocking out. Blocking out all of this madness. Them getting blocked. Well, this doesn't feel like too threatening for them. This is something that they're lacking. 
lack alignment, confusion around alignment. Hmm. Right. That's what I would, it's like trying to confuse the masculine, trying to, this is like using the children or appearing innocent or this, this is, Any more? Obsessed. Someone is running. Someone wants solitude. Someone else is obsessed. Someone's trying to go within, blocking out. could be like someone pursuing someone and someone someone's obsessed someone's blocking someone someone is trying to so it could be someone with a child trying to pursue someone trying to get in alignment someone trying to go within to get into this alignment and then this karmic energy, like trying to get in the middle of it. Child courtship. I don't know. Well, that's the whole purpose of this message is to figure out what, what's going on. So if I don't know in the near future what's going to happen uh, or I'm too confused by that message, then I can't post this really. So I've got to find out what that is. Okay, this, this obsession, this incarcerated forcer scarcity tactics. What's going on with that? Oof. Evil and in, evil intentions. Empress. Sacral chakra. Stalker underneath. Yeah, they are not. This could be some sort of like more black magic stuff trying to keep your keep the divine feminine from being able to express themselves creatively, sexually, uh, be able to move on in any way. This is to stop any love from coming towards the Divine Feminine. This is in order to win, it, but it's also like trying to trap, trap the Divine Masculine, tr try to keep the, the Empress from anything, anything from blooming, anything from trying to stop the next level. This could be like mental, like sending negative energy, um, thought forms of lack. So like repetitive, um, thoughts, confusion, I can't do it, um, this isn't worth it, I can't see a way out. This is like lack, scarcity, I'm trying to force that in. This is very narcissistic, it's evil. That's why the devil card is here. Attacking the sacral chakra, which is very empress oriented. It's your, it's your expression. Also like beauty, spells, stuff. In order to win, it's like trying to take you down and make it so that you can't move. That's the goal here. Stopping reunion, making sure that nothing comes to you, that it's just a desert, a barren desert. Empress. 
and I think this could be that too, this union trying to stop any harmony from happening for you. Reputation, trying to make their reputation like it's yours, new union. I don't know exactly. This wolf, wolf in sheep's clothing. People think they're dangerous. Yep, wolf in sheep's clothing. People are reading about it, hearing about it, talking about it. So they're doing all of these things. They had a public shaming in the recent past. Something is very, very much over here. Uh, but they're still planning. We've got obsessed here, obsessed here. Stalker, seven of swords. They're afraid that they're going to get destroyed. Or they want to create destruction because they're stuck. They're, they're hoping that their plan works. They're trying to destroy something. That's what I think. I don't think they're worried about being found out. I think that they, they're planning something. They're watching very, very closely. Obsessed. Sneaking and watching. This... Finding a way to, oh my gosh. Finding a way to find out exactly what's going on with you and the Divine Masculine. Sneaking. Spying. Stalking. So, any way that they try to stop you in business or work, that's all going to come out. A true love. You are going to have true love. Um, it's going to be because of true love that they were stalking. That's all going to come out. Yeah, that they're a bully. It's all going to come out. Um, I just want to know one more time this union reputation acceptance this card wanted to come out lies acceptance lies acceptance lies They're trying to spin the story. That's what that's what I get for sure. Trying to spin the story and make things work uh, for themselves. Who are they trying to get to accept their lives? It doesn't matter. They they they've got hidden karma. This is them still trying to do magic or hidden karma around magic. Oh my gosh, their intentions are, okay, they've got a group of people that they've been working with, it's going to be their family, they're dealing with karma. This whole group that has been any of them, if they've especially been doing any kind of dark magic stuff. Whoa. Any kind of like really dark stuff. Sleep magic, death magic. So this is what this pertains to. Okay. They're okay, trying to control. Ooh. Astral. Breakout. Gang stalkings here. Okay, this is... Okay, I get it. Okay. 
this is the, I think the reason why this was confusing me is because there's so much going on. It's one is your, yeah, this is trying to control a lot. It's trying to control divine connection, your north node. It's knowing about all the signs and symbols that they, they might not be seen, but they're aware that people see them. Um, basically you, um, they're, they're, they're afraid because of what they've, they've done. They've been gang stalking you. Um, they, they want to control, they want to control the way that this breakup, um, appears, the karma. So it's like everything they've done, this is, they're afraid of what they've done and also what the outcome is going to be. They're trying to control, control everything. Your, they're trying to control your destiny. They're trying to control the karma that is starting to unfold for themselves and their group. They're, tr they're going to tell more lies so that they can be accepted. They're going to try to control their reputation. This is a lot. That, oh. They're trying to find new ways to... Some of it could... Yeah. This looks like more magic. Try to control the signs. Okay. So what you can expect is more lies from this person, more gang stalking, that's what they're intending, more magic, magic lies gang stalking. Um, this could be also appearing like things are okay. So any sort of like, if they, not that you watch them, but if you see any posts or news about them, it's all an illusion and lies. You can't, you can't trust anything from this person at all. They're gonna, and they're gonna try to do this without a lot of money because I saw Carlos here. Um, this is like trying to make it, like this is using maybe social media or something to look very, like they've got a lot going on. Always partying was there. This is, this is like trying to control the narrative and then this obsessed outburst. Someone's trying to block this alignment, a new beginning, maybe using a child. Um, this could be some sort of weird abuse. I can't tell. Near future. Conversation. Conversation with who? Or Home. This is something happening in the home. It's a conversation, throat chakra. All the prayers, all the prayers. This is readings, revenge. Hmm. Conversations, jealousy, things working out for you them left in the cold here oh man at a crossroads everyone's running from them it's the gossip that they told they, they're being shamed maybe making an apology while you're healing people are healing from this and they're just very insecure because of the divine winning and seeing all the signs and experiencing bad karma and getting ghosted because of really the just natural law, the tree of life, Akashic records. <sighs> okay, so I feel like this is a pretty good idea. I'll do another reading later and see if um I don't, I can't get more mess, more specific messages. Getting ghosted, seeing the signs, divine is winning, being very insecure. They're being shamed. They're running. They're at a crossroads. 
this could be some of it coming out publicly um, that they are jealous of you um, some of you could be in the public eye and this comes out in like media but trying to stop that from happening trying to get revenge on you or being seen for the revenge that they were trying to do having this conversation at home some big outburst happening unable to control themselves a lot of confusion as this alignment happens uh, not being able to stop it really because it's like a divine plan um, you may be really not giving them much to go by with this go with in quiet heart chakra this could be the dm doing this and then being unable to control it so i guess what i'm getting from this near future is that continue to do what you're doing feel your feelings um stay in high high vibration as you can know that there could be more lies and gang stalking coming but people are really seeing them for who they are um, but there could be like a lot of illusions and sort of like a hall of mirrors and um, some really clownish, clownish stuff. And, you know, just desperate, desperate clownish stuff that someone is like trying to, uh, you know, escape this, this, this ending. And calling on, I would say, the darkest of forces to try to fix it. Trying to start new beginnings or use a child against someone. Try to create despair for this divine masculine so that they don't leave. Trying to still create like a party atmosphere in the middle of this misfortune. A lot of people who've been involved in this whole thing are really trying to think through what they what they just did. A lot of people are upset with themselves. There's just more information is going to keep coming out. There's going to be someone there to help you that you weren't expecting, I think. And then we've got, it's just, they look ridiculous. They look ridiculous. Yeah, people are, people are talking. People are talking. And anything that they said, all these lies that they told, they told about you, um, you know, it's not good. They, they're seeing why some of them have gotten sick from being around this person. And, um, all right, well, I'm going to see about the other karmic energies. I didn't realize this was, was going to take so long, um, but I hope that helps.